I'm about to spend $5,000 in the next five minutes buying the craziest gaming tech on the entire internet. And then we're gonna test it with a very special guest. Razer has made a set of gaming finger sleeves. Our breathable sleeves keep your fingers deadly cool in the heat of battle. We can actually buy this. A physical set of buttons that you can use to play touchscreen games with. I'm really down for the idea of this. Let's try gaming gadgets. This is one of those rare instances where you see something and you instantly understand how it's about to make your life so much better. Did Business Insider actually just recommend Raycons? 551 pound keyboard, but it just looks like two mice. How do you hold that thing? We are going to have to find out. So I originally thought this was a mouse, but it's actually a gaming keypad that you use alongside your mouse. That's so adorable. That is a definite buy. I'm just kind of curious now, does anyone make a one key keyboard? Oh my gosh, they actually do. I'm thinking we give one of these keyboards to Tommy to see if he can actually win a game with it. Gaming tech. The Taktsu X40. So you wear this while you're playing VR games and you can apparently feel when things happen to you. Someone is gonna find some very strange use cases for this one. What is a gaming mouse bungee? We must find out. I just found a mouse here, which also has a joystick on the side. So I'm assuming in a game, this one mouse could be both you looking around and also using the joystick to actually move your character. That could be a game changer. One-handed switch Joy-Con adapter. And there's the PlayStation 1 too. That is a must. By. I would love to have a really cool gaming speaker. A connected speaker featuring a screen that displays the lyrics of the song being played. Very expensive, but if that actually works the way that I think it works, that will be one of the coolest things I've ever shown on this channel. This is a controller that allows you to play PlayStation 5 games on your phone. That entire idea is too exciting for me to not try. This is a portable 4K monitor for Xbox Series S. Add to basket. <laughs> Apparently Nintendo made a bowling ball controller. How would you like navigate the menus? You can also get USB programmable foot pedals. Gamer goo. Stop sweaty hands at the source. So that's like antiperspirant for your palms. I feel like this is either gonna be a massive win or a really awkward interaction. Artist replaces all of the keys on a keyboard with custom food keycaps. This is opening up a whole new can of worms when it comes to keyboards. This has got an actual working fidget spinner on the keycap. This one's a first generation Apple Mac. Interactive cooking pot keycap. Baffling in all the right ways. Why is there a steamed dumpling keycap? And why do I want one? Lego, that's such a good idea. You could build like anything on top. Now I move to the testing phase. I don't think I've ever had less of an idea of what to expect. And we are back. We are tech time. Tommy's in it. <laughs> so we're gonna go from the $10 Gamer Goo to the $100 gaming controllers to the $1,000 stuff straight out of the future. Sorry, did you say Gamer Goo? It's, it's not even midday. <laughs> <laughs> Start with your favorite. Oh no! It's in a portrait color. Which flavor have you got? Brown. <laughs> what is the purpose of this? Gamers get really sweaty. This is designed to stop your hands sweating. It doesn't feel like it's gonna work. I don't feel very dry. Apply a pea sized a amount. Size amount of goo to palms. Spread evenly, dominate. Are yeah. you wiping it off? You've permanently stained our recording oh studio. God. Oh, and my trousers! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I promised mother it was Gamer Goo! <laughs> Tommy, put it away. You it's a little early to soil your trousers. <laughs> Disgusting. This is just shameful. Tommy, you it? <laughs> that was brilliant, look. <laughs> Okay, finger sleeve time. This is just completely ridiculous. I know. <laughs> the idea is we are going to play Minecraft Pocket Edition, each of us with one finger in a sleeve, one finger out of a sleeve, and we're going to use that to figure out if this is actually worth it. This is woven with high sensitivity silver fiber for enhanced aim and control. I hate capitalism <laughs> so much. It's the fact that it's razor, you just don't expect. Yeah, it's... Wow, my gloves sure kicked in. How much <laughs> is this? These are like $20. But Tommy, huh? ultimate breathability. Oh, wow, and the wind just travels through that like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> my goodness. So the game is, you've got to try and get me. So I can feel my left finger, which doesn't have the glove, sticking a little bit to the screen. That's the goo. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like slightly smoother. Oh no, I'm no, in a corner. I'm in a corner you... now. Yes, you've been had <laughs> by razor finger. My alter ego. It feels like it's trying to be a mouse pad for your finger, but it doesn't feel worth it. 
to put this on every time. Maybe we're gonna meet in the middle, because I would give that 7.5 out of 10. We'll meet at 5.5 then. Don't buy the razor finger. <laughs> okay, well the SteelSeries touchscreen buttons might actually be a smarter solution to the exact same problem. These are physical controls for your virtual games. So you just place these on the screen and they form an instant vacuum with that surface, which keeps them in place without glue, such that now those are physical buttons. Oh! This oh. recreates your joystick. Whoa, that is cool. It's got this really crazy spiral mechanism that allows it to constantly snap back to the middle. The buttons are nice. Like, the buttons are really satisfying. Mm. This feels kind of clunky. The buttons are surprisingly <laughs> solid, given that I've not actually stuck them on. This is a five. I think I'll give it an eight. Are you sat on the train and you bust out the Steel Series joystick? <laughs> it's a good point, yeah. There's no practical point at which you're like, okay, now is when I'm going to use yeah. them. Do you have goo in your beard? <laughs> I might have goo in my beard. In his he has game of goo. Right, just before we get to the really hardcore PC gadgets, we're gonna work our way up with the console ones. This is where we do a transition. Wait, what's the transition? Okay, Tommy, oh. what piece of tech do you think we're looking at right now? Well, there's a Wii, so I'm guessing something stupid. You're actually not wrong. This oh is a real working Nintendo controller. <laughs> no! The game is Wii Sports. It's gonna be one round of bowling. Tommy with the ball, me with the normal Wii controller. Let's see if Tommy can pin it. <laughs> oh, oh. Got to stay safe, don't we? Do you think you're gonna win? Look at me, Aaron. I've got a wee bowling ball. I was born to win. So we're gonna have one bowling turn each. Oh, oh, oh. That's, oh. Not, that's not great. Please don't let go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, he's done it. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. Does it have a wee mode? Yeah, yeah, it has a wee mode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is awful. Straight ahead. Beautiful. That's nine and one. That's your entire two goes. All right, we get it. We get it. This is pointless. Zero out of ten. <laughs> oh, I heard the crack. <laughs> so you're aware of this like middle divider thing for yeah, Joy Cons like to slide yeah. into? I'm about to show you an alternative that once you see it, you will never go back from. Oh, what is it? It's for canned goods. That'd be such a good thing for like you're having your friends over, you're playing Smack together. What are you kidding? The question is, can you drink while playing? In the spirit of making sure I test this properly. Is. I'm gonna have to beat you while drinking this drink. Mm. Oh, so God. Sweet. oh, he's playing. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm not even gonna have time to finish this drink and fall off that quickly. I'm so rubbish. <laughs> I'm edge guarding. No. Yes! The controller fell okay, apart! Two, 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 two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, please, keep down. sipping. I'm gonna keep smashing. Oh, he's actually caught up. This is sad. Actually, I think you'll find I'm the boss. No, you can't. I can't go back from run, that. Run, run, run! One life to go, and I've got half a drink to finish. Mm -mm. To review the gadget, honestly, you can actually drink while playing. I'm the boss! Tommy, come on. The gaming YouTuber. So I was gonna say, Tommy, win it. Oh, great, yeah, great. Just rub it all in. I mean, that's just stupid. You don't think that's more than a party trick? I think that's ridiculous. I have some potentially bright news for you, though. I'm about to nerf myself further. This is a custom modded Nintendo Switch controller. One hand can reach every single one of the buttons. So we've seen I can beat you with two hands. We're going to see now if I can beat you with one. So this is for disabled and paralyzed people who only have one hand to be able to fully play, like, console games. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. first hit. First hit on me. God damn it. I can't, How am I, I this bad? I should be winning. <laughs> You're getting destroyed. Destroyed by the Mr. Cums. No, nope, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Just say on the box. I can't. Just land. Say, the I can't. Just say it. No. Say the lot. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a f nine out of ten. Feels good to press as well. On that note, there is a PlayStation oh, version. Whoa. Someone's three D printed every single part of this in their garage. Like, yeah. nah, that's uh, brilliant. You have my support. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have such a soft spot for handheld gaming. You wouldn't believe the amount of time I used to spend under the covers with just me and my Game Boy. And so when I found out that there was a device that allows you to play actual PlayStation 5 games on your smartphone, you can bet that I jumped at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Died within about four seconds. I'm actually so happy right now. That actually feels so good. It's just surreal seeing a game like this being played on a smartphone like Form Factor. It feels like an OLED Switch. But yeah. much, much better. Like, imagine these graphics on a Switch, like, never. Right, this is the first one I can say I would I would buy this. This is a nine. Like, can you play this on the train, or does it it has to be an in-house yeah. thing? You can play it in the toilet. In clanking. I think I'd have to give that maybe even a 9.5. Fulfilled my childhood fantasy, I would say. Here you go, man. This is a gift from me to you. You bought it for yourself, so.
I really well, Thank you very much. But we can step the game consoles up further by not just streaming over Wi-Fi, but actually having your home console on the go with you. That's sharp, it's colorful. It's got like a matte anti-glare finish as well. The benefit of this is you could carry an Xbox and everything you need to play in a backpack. Okay, so it's not like a perfect solution because this needs a power connection and this needs a power connection. Or you could just take a switch. Oh, yeah, it's like bigger than a laptop. Like that's gonna take up a lot of travel size. Yeah. I imagine it's quite delicate as well. I think this is one of the ones I really liked in concept, but yeah, having actually played it and seen it, I think the reality of it is it's impractical. I would give this like a six out of 10 because I think it's a perfect execution, but what's the functionality of it? What's the point? Six out of 10. Let's close that with the wood. <laughs> okay, so, what's been your experience with VR? Uh, not great. It makes me motion sick. This is the Taxu X40. It's called the X40 because it has 40 different haptic points that can simulate feeling in 40 different parts of your body. <laughs> if you shoot the gun, like, do you feel it? I need to load. Ah, oh, I'm dropping all the bullets! Tommy. Hello. Yeah? Begin it. Stop saying that to me. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, no! 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 Did you get hit? Yes, I got hit! I got shot in the back! No, nah, all right, you can have that go. How did no. it feel? You load a little ants on me back. No, oh, no, no, don't like that. <laughs> ah! Tommy, is that you? No, that was the best. What I'm about to try and experience is cooking a grenade and exploding it in front of me, which is going to trigger every single haptic motor. <laughs> ah! I see what you mean, yeah. So it doesn't hurt that much, but it's it's knowing that you're getting shot and that's the feeling of the bullet. That's a grenade. I'm actually really scared. Can I blow myself up? This feels too real. Ah! That was my closest to death experience I've ever had. Okay, it is PC time. This is where oh, things get really serious. I'm very excited. This is my home turf. Tommy, would you describe yourself as a skilled gamer? Absolutely not. Well, we'll see if tech can turn you into one. Got some more gaming. No, games. stay away from me. First up in the PC section, the USB foot pedals. So they're completely programmable. So each of these buttons, like that could just enter your email address if you want it to. These would be so good for streaming. It'd be like playing a drum kit with your computer as the kit. Okay, we're in Fortnite. Oh wow, look, I'm using the foot pedal to jump. It's so loud. Bonk. Bonk. You think this is less about like improving the gaming, more about for people who are streaming their gaming to manage their different softwares. Like, I think so. You know what would be so good for? Editing in Premiere. You should send this to your editor and see if he gets out. Okay. I actually can't believe how many control options PC gamers get, because then we have a mouse with a joystick attached to it. Wow. So we're going to see if that is going to oh, elevate what, your play. What does this do, this joystick? You can move and look around oh. with just your mouse. Whoa. So I can just... Oh, whoa! Does Dude, I just it? let go of the keyboard. See if you can get a kill with just the mouse. It's straining my thumb. I'll say that. It feels very intuitive. We have oh. combat. We have okay. combat. Okay, hands off, hands off. All right, all right. I'm getting behind the tree. Adjusting the movement also changes where the mouse is looking. Oh, you, got it. Oh! you got the kill! You did it, you... Oh, but to be... Dude. Look how much health they lost. Do you know what the problem is? When you're trying to aim at the same time, it's so difficult. Yeah, what is the use case here? It's <laughs> just silly. <laughs> okay, out of 10? Five, because it's really good at what it is. It couldn't be better, but also why. Tommy, what yeah. do you think a bungee is? You guys have made Halo. Nothing else. And then what is it? It's actually a device that you can run your mouse cable into, and A, it neatens it up, and B, stops it dragging against your desk surface. Oh, okay. Whoa, this is cool. I've never done this before. Do you feel the lack of drag on the table? Yeah, I think I do actually. It's kind of unnerving. It's like, oh, it's freaking me out a bit. The tautness is actually keeping your mouse like fully in control. Yeah, this is interesting. This is weird. I'm like, really, it's kind of unnerving. I don't like it. So that's why I'm like, cool, I want to spend more time with it. I think it's like a seven. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested in this. So you are currently 20th. There's a decent chance you think you're going to win. Yeah. But now, this is the Razer Tartarus, <laughs> which I know it looks more like a mouse. It's actually a keyboard, but it has one interesting twist. So the idea of this gadget is that it's bringing all of the keys that you actually need for gaming, which is not all of the entire keyboard, right in front of your fingertips. This is just stressful. Oh, jump! It's like there's a massive key down here. And you know what, actually? I'm not hating this. You have like a joystick, you've got a button there, you've got a scroll wheel. You have a lot of tools at your disposal. You definitely look the part. Every button on this has a purpose. We have to change now. So would you say you're a minimalist? Oh my god, really? Okay, let me hear. Uh, no. But this is your new keyboard. No, I'm so close to the win! Okay, quick, quick, quick. So you have a total of three keys here. Wait, how do I reload? I've got to be very sparing with bullets. <laughs> if you had only three buttons to allocate, which three would they be? Quick game, open up YouTube. <laughs> Watch Mr. Who's a Boss. There's two people left, right? Oh, no way! <laughs> I won with this! That was very impressive. It makes up for your Smash performance. So seeing as three keys wasn't enough to nerf you, I have one final keyboard 
but you are very much not going to enjoy it. This is a joke. It feels like one of the buttons you like send off a new coin. <laughs> Does it work? It's just a button. It's just a single button. Oh, oh, I can't! Oh, yeah. I can't open the inventory to remap it. Have you ever played around with custom keycaps? A tiny bit when I did my video with glasses. Mm, so I have some fun ones for you to try. It's called an interactive cooking pot keycap. Is this what you expect to be testing when you no. came in? So is there any use for a custom keycap like this? No, there's no use. This is a minus 100 out of 10. You're gonna lose this in five seconds. The dog's okay. gonna eat this. Okay, so I'm hoping you think this next one is better. Oh, a Lego! Lego. I love Lego. This would be cool. You could put a whole Lego build on this and then you press just... it down. No! Oh, no, Lego brick. It doesn't actually fit any Lego. That's like the worst of both worlds. Every time you tap your key, you're basically impaling your finger on a piece of That's Lego. Terrible, yeah. This is apparently a working fidget spinner. Am I gonna tell me spinner? You, you can't beat me to it. That's pretty fast. Yay. Final keycap. This is my favorite. So this is the original Apple Mac computer oh, and the keyboard man. that came with it. Yeah, I like that. That's mm. nice you, man. We're getting to the really weird now, though, with the Azeron Cyborg. You've never used anything like this, right? I don't think anyone has. I guess my concern with it is that it looks like it's learning a new language from scratch. Yeah, this is a bit much. So every single finger has at least six things it can press. How long do you think it would take you to get, like, muscle memory with something like this? Solid for me. Which one's shoot? I don't know. So one by one, I'm figuring out these key bindings. That's absolutely incredible. I think the coolest part about it is that once it's molded to your fingers, the amount of travel between your fingers and the buttons is absolutely tiny. It's the top like one's an already. eight out of 10. It's so cool and as well feels like it has a functionality. Mm. You probably don't even know what that is. <laughs> Looks like two ass cheeks. It's actually even better than that. This is the Orbitouch, a keyboard that gives you full access to all 128 key functions, as well as every single mouse interaction, all while requiring zero finger or wrist motion to operate. This bit here has A, B, C, D, E. So if you move that one there, you've selected one of those five. And then if I do A, oh, yeah. whoa. It looks like it's kind of designed for like a really corporate office environment. Oh, that's actually really fun though. <laughs> it's so jiggly. Yeah, I'm from Batman. <laughs> H, E, am I doing it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. L. L. O. Heck low. Oh, God. It is what it's trying to be. It's yeah. nice. Like, I it like things that nail exactly what they are and they have a purpose. How much, based on the way this thing looks and feels, do you think this thing costs? 100 quid? 550. 550! <laughs> Never out. mind. I'm not blown away. Two of ten. <laughs> yeah. This is our frankly insane looking lyric speaker and I think it's gonna blow him away. It's a speaker with, I guess you could say a trick up its sleeve. Is it a monitor maybe? It kinda looks like a modern art piece. It, this is really weird. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, that's loud. The sound is incredible. I feel like I'm in a bloody club. Yeah, yeah, look, so. You know the rule. It's not just like reading out a transcript, like you know. it's displaying the lyrics in like a really artistic oh, way. Oh wow! Yeah. Never gonna let, let you down. down. Practically speaking, this is not worth 2,600, but no it's a nice sounding artistic piece. I'm, surpri I'm surprised how good it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> a good bass. Surprising. Yeah, that hundred. is solid. I think this would be like a seven out of 10, but yeah, yeah. just because of the price tag, it wouldn't be. You have to see it as a piece of art. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now <laughs> or I'll kill you. That'll work.